Um, we will talk about human models and bioelectromagnetic simulations today. So let's have a look on the agenda. So the webinar will be split roughly half and half. The first half, I would like to talk about human modeling in the content of electromagnetic simulation. I want to start with our Simulia CST human model creation project, which we are doing in cooperation with the German Cancer Research Institute, the DKFZ in Heidelberg. But I also would like to talk a little bit about um, other bio models, human models that we provide with our software CST Studio Suite. And in the second half, I would uh, jump over to the application side. And um, some applications certainly come from the life sciences industry, so medical devices, as you probably would expect. But the even larger part will be about electromagnetic exposure and dosimetry and the certification that almost all technical products that have some electromagnetic radiation um, yeah, need, need to undergo. And I would like to stop with a summary. So yeah, let's have a look into the Simulia Human Model Creation Project. As I just said, this is a cooperation between Dassault System and the German Cancer Research Center, the DKFZ. And the idea was we saw quite some need to have more detailed human models uh, to be used in, in all kinds of electromagnetic simulations. Um, there were some models available and we do have a CST voxel family, which you may know since a couple of years already. But the goal was to start with a completely new set of high resolution models. So with a much better resolution than the models we have so far. And in addition, make sure that they have a wide population coverage in terms of size, gender, age. So really have all kinds from, from baby, child to adults, normal shaped, a little bit bigger one. Um, and also a high number of tissues. So most models have more than 40 different tissues to be, to be separated. And that includes, for example, quite detailed models of blood vessels and nerve fibers as well. Long term, those models will be available both as cut models and voxel models. I will come uh, to that a bit later. So at the moment, most of them are only available as voxel models, but that um, will change in the future. And those models should also be posable to show them in all typical poses, positions uh, you may, may think of. 